274 VFK Cherokee Travel Trailer here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. One of the very few of its kind, a wood framed aluminum skinned V nose travel trailer. Very, very unusual set of characteristics to mash together. Um, and once you see it inside, you'll see that they did a very good job pairing these things together. Um, this is a front kitchen again, which is the most popular type of V nose. This is also uh, featuring a limited package which is a, uh, a set of options and upgrades in a big bundle, only available to really high volume dealerships like ourselves. And I'm gonna touch on that as we go. So keep in mind, we sell a bunch of these. Not every single one of these we bring in is going to be the, uh, you know, equipped the exact same way. So, uh, you know, if you look at the pictures and it looks like it has something this doesn't or is missing something else, don't have a heart attack. You understand why now. Um, solar prep is now a standard thing on here. Uh, it's real easy. You just hook up a solar panel, plug it in. You don't have to rewire the coach. It's all pre-wired for that. Uh, you have a push button operated power awning. And look at these massive, massive living room windows. Literally floor to ceiling windows. And that is one of the cool calling cards of a Cherokee travel trailer is they feature more square foot of uh, windows and uh, than just about anything else in their class. I can't think of one other trailer in this class that has more windows than these do. And large windows, that's the thing, not just quantity, but quality as well. Um, interesting thing with Vino's trailers is your propane tanks are actually enclosed right under your kitchen counters. It's a very efficient use of space. Power awning, power tongue jack, the whole point here is this is supposed to be very easy to operate. And notice too, not only do you have big windows, they open for ventilation, so you can get some nice breezes rolling through here. Something I wanna show you on the sides of the slide out, the skin that they use here, if you listen, it has a texture, it grips, it pulls that slide open and close, the seal right there. That means that you always have the best chance of getting the very best seal possible on that slide out and doing everything that the manufacturers can to eliminate any chance of leaks around there. And you know, your first couple of years, that's not the concern, but usage over time is where a trailer truly proves itself. And Cherokee being one of the very best selling travel trailers out there has proven itself time and time again. Um, the travel rack on the back here that you see, this is part of the um, limited package. And that uh, doubles as, uh, I think, a 200, 250, something like that pound uh, RV accessory tray. You see your spare tire is located on there. You do not have to take the spare tire off. Being a front kitchen, this is a rear bedroom. So your pass-through storage in most travel trailers is located back here. And I do love that you have a second door right to the bedroom. What's cool is that it's also right next to the bathroom. So if you're going down the road, you want to hop in and use the facilities real quick, you don't have to run the slide out to do it. Hop in, use the bathroom, hop out. Part of the limited package is the outdoor television setup. The TV from inside quickly releases, slides into this bracket here, plugs in down there, and it connects right to your uh, interior entertainment center. So, uh, you know, if you're watching a movie inside or a race or a game, you can watch it out here. By the way, there is LED uh, lighting at the base of this awning too. Forgot to mention that. Let's step inside for you real quick here. Oh, geez, I forgot. And I always remember when I touch the door. This door is friction sprung. The wind can't blow it open. Watch this. I will throw the thing. See, that it doesn't smack against the side of the trailer. It purposely fights itself so that if the wind kicks up, you see, it won't smash into the awning here. It holds itself back. It has to be a really, really breezy wind for that to happen. Um, what is this? Dry weight on this one as it's built, 7185, um, which is uh, for a trailer this size with a big super slide, not too terribly bad. Again, loaded with windows. I mean, look at this all the way around. And keep in mind, even those big floor to ceiling windows do open for ventilation. More square footage of windows here than anything else in its class. And in your living area, on your slides, we like to upgrade to the cool wooden plantation blinds. They are far less troublesome than, um, you know, pleated shades, but those are still even better than normal metal shades. Full height of bed, this does pull out, so if you need extra sleeping space, you got it. We typically upgrade these dinettes uh, so that they have the big 40-inch mega storage drawers down here. And notice the construction. This is 5 8 inch plywood. That is serious. And that's actually exactly what the floor is made out of. The floor is of 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood, not OSB, not particle board. Your sidewalls, on average, have 12 inch on center walls. That is phenomenal. That is a, a, one of the very best in its class. You have more studs in these sidewalls than anything. That's why if you see something weighs a pound less, ask why. 
it likely has less structure, and that's the wrong way to lose weight. Now, uh, you see that your countertops have been upgraded to a uh, seamless um, engineered countertop. It's all one piece here. So there's, there's no seams where water can get in and cause it to bulge and swell. But notice you don't just get that in the kitchen. You have it here on your dinette table. You'll even have it in the bathroom everywhere. That's the only type of countertop you'll find used in here. Um, over here in the kitchen, you see the really cool countertop flush glass top on the stove. That's going to give you even more functional countertop space. If I can take you for a ride here real quick, you see how much usable functional countertop room you get here. Um, the sink cover is a big giant one piece guy and you have a big basin sink down here. So if you do have big pots and pans, you can clean them. And if you have funky shaped stuff, it's easy to get around and clean them here. With the, the front windows, you get, again, more light. And if you're parked like by a lake or something, this is the type of floor plan you're going to want because you get a perfect view everywhere. If you're parked like out on a point at your campsite, this is the one. Uh, you have lots of drawer space here. I love that they sectionalize this for things like um, forks and spoons and knives. Everywhere they could, they opened up for storage. Uh, spinning you around here, opposite view of the big living room. And this is a dreary overcast day. It was actually raining real bad earlier. And despite that, look at all the light that flows through here. It is very open and social. And that's one of the things I like about front or rear kitchens. They, they cause everyone to sort of look inward. And the person in the chair here is kind of conversing with the people at the table. Um, if somebody is a big time cook, a front kitchen's awesome because if you're standing there cooking, people don't bump into you when they're walking through. Um, upgrade here uh, to a uh, full AM, FM, CD, and DVD enabled system. I love the, uh, the stone looking entertainment center here. It just has such a, I mean, does that not just have a really cool like log cabin type look or something to it? I love that. And again, your TV mounts right up here can float inside or outside. Now this is something cool. Let me kind of pull this door here. You can see that there's two ways to get to the bathroom or bedroom. You can get to it from the hallway over here or you can get to it from the bathroom. So it doesn't matter what side of the bed you sleep on, it's easy to get to the restroom. Um, the, uh, I love the wood plank floor look on here too. That's very nice. But you see all the floor space that you have here in the bathroom. You don't have to uh, bump your elbows on the walls just to get dressed. We have a standing fifth wheel corner shower, not a travel trailer tub. That's a big thing for me. And in their class, Cherokees have the largest medicine cabinets. And that is a big deal. That's one of those things that sounds boring. Big deal, a medicine cabinet. You know, that's what a lot of people say. But it's such a big deal because this is where you're going to put all your toothpaste and your shavers and everything. And it keeps your top countertop clear and clean and, and non-cluttered. And you do still get a giant sink in here. This is also one of the trailers that has one of the biggest sinks in its class. Another best-in-class type feature is the full-size power ceiling fan up here. If you open your windows and turn this thing on, you'll get a nice breeze rolling through your camper. And you do have a sliding pocket door here for the bedroom, not just a, a, a swinging door. And it's really important right here because this is this could be a little tight. If this door swung open, you'd either hit the person here in the uh, bathroom or it'd hit the bed. So they thought ahead and they made a sliding door here and everyone goes home happy. Both sides of the bed do have power outlets and little stands so you can um, keep things charged and running. Or if you have CPAP machines, th this camper can take care of that for you. And we do have a full 80 inch queen bed in here, not a 76 inch camper queen um, like a cheaper brand might feature. And yet there's still more to talk about. So do not hesitate to give us a call at 800 250 651 96. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Go have some fun.